Yo, what's going on guys? Um, back over here working on the LS today. Um, I guess I can run you through a couple of the updates to the car just since the last video um, and then go over what I want to be doing today. So let's get into it. On the other side I have also made the same cuts and I shaved this up um, a little bit higher so it's basically as close as it can get. Um, I know that it's not pretty right now Pretty much, um, once the flare is welded on there, um, I'm gonna go in and shave that inside edge flush to the flare so it'll all be clean and it won't cut up the tires. Um, it's not perfect right now, clearly, but until the flare is on there, I don't wanna keep shaving in case I shave too much. Um, so I'm leaving it as it is right now and hoping I'm gonna get to welding this on pretty soon. I was planning that this weekend just gone, I was gonna do that. Um, but obviously I have to rely on other people for that and it didn't work out. So we'll get to it hopefully here in the next week or two. Um, but yeah. So major things. Um, this side and the other side are obviously cut. Jacked them up, looked at them a million times and it looks like they need slightly more camber. Which initially didn't expect that to happen. Um, I thought it would be pretty much spot on um, but yeah it does look like it needs just slightly more camber but thankfully my homie Casey came through with some NRCA's um, and that is going to give me slightly more camber although there is a downside to it which we will talk about once I get them on there but let me just show you what I have right here so Casey from Get Fit Garage. This is not how they were packed, by the way. I already tore it apart and just threw them back in there. Casey from Get Fit Garage. He makes these. Um, these are negative roll center adjusters for the UCF20, and I think they work on the UCF10 as well. Um, pretty much what this does is it works like a roll center adjuster, but it offsets the um, spindle to give you more camber. So um, the regular mounting holes are these ones and this will go at the back and then the spindle will be mounted wait this is upside down my bad the spindle will be mounted on top of it basically the original holes for the spindle for the mounting points are these right here those holes um, and you will mount it as normal through those and then the spindle will get mounted through these so it's actually going to offset the spindle this way slightly more causing it to lean back and add camber. Now the downside to this is that it is obviously going to change the offset of the wheel and push it out further, which my front wheels are already 10 and a half, negative 10, plus I have a 25 mil spacer because I have no brake clearance. So they're actually 10 and a half, negative 35. This is then gonna put it at an even bigger negative in the front. So, yes, it's going to give me a little bit more camber, but it's also going to stick the wheel out a little bit further. And if it then sticks it out too far to the point where I have to add even more camber to get it back under and where I want it, it's kind of going to defeat the purpose. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, just uh, taking the old Serial 9 RCAs out, and then now we to put the new ones in. Okay, that's a much better camera angle. All right. So, obviously, they do come with all of the necessary hardware to install them. Um, so, that's nice. I will post a link in the description um, to where you can order these. And he only does them in small batches. Um, and right now, there is a batch that is live, and there's probably only a few left. So, if you need these, go and get them. If not, hit up Casey, see when he's doing another batch. Um, okay, so, old RCAs. They're just a straight shot, they're a spacer, that's all it is. And then the new ones are, of course, a lot bigger and heavier, um, but there's a little bit more to them than just those, so. I have a feeling it's this way. I'm gonna try it, just see what it works. Um, I'm hoping that this is actually gonna fix my caster issue, because since I put the shortened spindles in with those RCAs, the caster is so far off, it's ridiculous. And I tried to adjust it, and obviously the stock adjustment like camber bolt for the caster arm is just fused together with the bushing, um, so it's not going to move anywhere. And I don't really feel like replacing all of that just to fix the caster, which obviously I have to do. Um, so I'm hoping that this 
like, you, you can kind of see like the top mounting points and then these are further off. Hoping that that will fix my issue. Okay, so no idea if this is the right way around yet or not, but we're just gonna thread this in here and um, hope that it's the right way. I'm assuming that it's this way because my caster was off that way. Um, and so because this is that way, it should be right. I don't know. I'm not gonna tie it all the way up right now just because if I need to take it back off again, I'm not trying to deal with it being stuck on there. All right, got it on there. Just need to put the bolts in. I did have to unbolt up the top. Um, with the upper control arm just because the kind of angle that I was trying to line it up with just wasn't wanting to cooperate so made sure to undo that and loosen it off and then place this on top of it and then should be able to bolt it back up up there once it's together okay so I have run into a slight issue um, this hole back here it appears is too close to like the the ball joint mounting point here or whatever that I can't get the bolt in there, especially not with the washer. So, um, I'm asking Casey what to do about this right now. But um, I have this bolt in here, so it's at least secure. Um, I'm going to put the wheel on and jack it up and just see if this is going to fix my issue. Because um, otherwise I can just stop right now and not continue on with the process. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Stay tuned in this video because I'm sure I will explain what the fuck is going on with it. But... You know, I try to try to keep my updates raw and as as real as possible, and um, pretty often make mistakes. So um, this is not a how-to on how to do this necessarily, um, but uh, if I do something wrong, I will tell you. That wheel is so much further out. Yes, it does have more camber, but that wheel is sticking out so much further. And I'm a max camber on the Zero 09 arms too. So, but uh, look at the camber now. It's pretty fucking thick. Not gonna lie, I think it did fix the caster. The, that gap right there and that gap right there look exactly the same. Um, so that might be a good thing. This toe is fucked beyond belief. Um, let's turn the wheel a little bit and fix that. Okay, the wheel looks a little bit more straight now, but... Um, okay, now that the wheel's straight, the cast is way off this way. <laughs> but I can tell you something for sure, that flare is not fitting on that. So... We gotta do something. Okay, so I pulled the fender out just a little bit by adding this in here, just so I can get the wheel up higher. Um, I actually want to measure and see how much camber that is. Um, kind of see if that's a number that I want. Um, right now, I mean, it fucking looks like it wouldn't even turn, to be honest with you. Alright, pulling out the old iPhone measure app. Please don't post in the comments what app is that, what's the camber measurement app. It's the fucking measure app that's literally on every iPhone. Okay. Is that it? Minus 11, oh no, minus 12. Minus 12 degrees. I mean, that's ballpark where I wanted the car to be at anyway, so I'm not against that. The next thing is I need to figure out how to get the top of this wheel further in this way. Um, and the other option that I had considered was getting smaller spaces, um, just because I have, I have like a fingers room in there to the brake. Um, but there's no relief cuts on the back of these wheels, so I would have to trim down the OEM studs. It's not something that I wanted to do unless I had to, um, and it's looking like at this point that may be what I have to do. I have to decide whether I want the NRCAs and negative 12 degrees of camber, um, and then run the small spacer, or just the regular RCAs um, and run a smaller spacer as well because they'll probably fit about the same. Um, to me, I'm actually leaning more towards the bigger camber. I think that this looks sick, and it'll really come down to how the back of the car is gonna sit. Um, if the rear needs a bunch more camber to get it to match that, then um, we'll go with that. But I, I think for now, we'll aim to have it with negative 12 degrees 
Um, and I guess I'm gonna have to shave down those studs. Kind of sucks. There's one thing that I have not actually done yet, which is put the spindle on the lower ball joint without RCAs or NRCAs and just see what happens. I haven't done that. I have no idea how it'll sit. So let's do that and just see what it does. All right, now we're gonna see what happens with no RCAs or NRCAs whatsoever. I'm expecting that there's gonna be barely any camber at all, um, but oh, we'll see. Well guys, weirdly enough, um, I don't actually remember what it looked like with just the RCAs, but it's pretty much the same as, as that, I think. Um, so, it still needs a little bit more camber, or the top of the wheel needs to come in a little bit further. Um, fuck. Alright, well that didn't exactly go as planned. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do next. Maybe I am going to shave down the um, factory studs. I don't particularly want to have to do that. Um, I don't see any other way around it. That's, right now, it seems to be the only way that I'm going to pull the top in any further. As far as the mounting hole on the lower ball joint, I am pretty sure that I'm supposed to shave back part of that ball joint mounting point um, so that the bolt can fit in there. Um, it actually says that on the instructions. I guess not all of the lower ball joint things are like that, but mine is. Um, so that's one thing to look out for if you have to do that. kind of sucks, um, but we'll make it work. Um, but anyway, this will be the last video on the LS for this week. Um, I'm actually going to Michigan for a couple days, like five days, um, over the weekend of the 4th of July. So I will be down there um, and I will be doing shoots, which obviously is the 4th of July when you're watching this video. So <laughs> we'll worry about that right now. But yeah, as always, guys, if you haven't gone on the website and copped the new drop, go ahead and get some stuff. It's not going to be here forever, um, so go ahead, get some stuff, link is in the description. And we'll be back next week with some slightly different content, and then after that we'll be back on to working on this thing, and hopefully getting somewhere with it. Um, definitely going to have the flares welded, I think, next time that you guys see it, or in the next video that you see it on the car. But thanks guys for watching, we'll see you soon. Bye.